Well, sales orders are created. Okay, sales order one, then SO two, SO three. So multiple sales order are created for same material, and uh, a stock. Let's say stock is limited. Okay, let's say you have total stock quantity of hundred, and in first sales order already fifty stock is allocated. Then in second sales order, another 20 so stock is allocated. Okay, and third sales order is uh, created for, uh, let's say, remaining 30 pieces. So these three sales orders are already created and my total stock is uh, 100. Now a new sales order comes up uh, with, let's say, uh, 25 pieces. Okay, a new sales order uh from some uh, important customer from let's say from one of your uh, priority customers has come up and they need 25 uh, quantities of particular material now we don't have any stock okay stock is already allocated existing stock is already allocated to these customers now how to handle this scenario <clears throat> that is where your back order process is used Okay, so now in back order process, what happens? We go to uh, through back order process, uh, we will allocate a stock from either of these three to this. Okay, let's say my uh, I have th three types of customer one with low priority, one customers which are of low priority, then there are another customers which are of medium priority, and then high priority. Okay, so different customers will have different delivery priority depending upon. Uh, you can say their customer uh, what how we are treating them how much business they are giving they are they are high priority for us or medium priority or low priority so the customers with whom we are frequently dealing or who are giving us high value sales more sales those will be treated as high value customers so let's say this is my high value customer and this is let's say medium customer and this is my low priority customer. So this customer once in a while they will order from us. So they are not one of the premium customers or main customers from uh, of, of ours. So we have categorized them as low priority. And then another uh, high medium, high priority customers order something. Okay. So he want 25 material. So now what to do? So this is high priority customer. So we cannot allocate their stock. This is medium priority. So we, the system will check. The least priority one is this one, okay? So we can allocate uh, 25 pieces from their stock to this customer. So uh, there is a transaction, back order transaction. So we will go to that transaction. Then uh, we will uh, allocate the stock of sales order three to sales order four. And uh, then we will fulfill the demand for sales order four this way. So back order is a process in which we assign already allocated a stock uh, of one one sales order to another priority sales order. Okay, and this has to be done before uh, delivery is created. Only for open sales orders, we will do this. So now that is the back order uh, concept. <clears throat> now how to uh, carry out this in system? Okay, let's say we, let me go to VA05. And uh, I created one test data today. Okay, so these two sales orders are there. One sales order is of uh, 100 quantity and another sales order is of five quantities. So let me create one more order. So this order is created. So let me copy from a previous order and use the same data. So let's say this is for 20 pieces, okay? So what I'm doing, I'm creating a sales order for 20 pieces and already two sales orders are existing for this material, okay? So now if I check the schedule line, this quantity is not confirmed, it is showing zero. This means stock is not allocated or is not available for this sales order. Now, when we save this 5161, this order is created, okay? So we can, if I refresh this list, then I will see the sales order is appearing here. 
<laughs> now uh, what let me go to back order transaction okay v underscore ra so this is my back order transaction uh, we'll go to v underscore ra and here we will enter that material number okay so material number uh, you can take from here Let me copy material number and then plant plant we can check from sales order okay let me go to sales order and we can scroll it here okay, 1002 1002 is my plant then i'll go to 1002 and uh, then Okay, sales organization also let me enter to filter out the other sales areas. So this is 1001 Okay, so now if I execute, so I will see all the sales orders for this particular material. Okay, so now I don't want to see all the materials. I let's say we only want to see the sales orders which we have created today okay so business person will know which sales orders they want to allocate a stock so we can either select from the existing list or directly we can enter the sales orders for which we want to swipe the materials okay so these three material sales orders i have entered So I can see now this three sales orders are showing me and uh, for third line, there is no stock is available. So I want to allocate a stock from my uh, first sales order where uh, 82 pieces are confirmed. Okay, this order was also order. This is order quantity is 100, but 82 pieces were available. So this order is confirmed quantity is 82. So out of this 82, we will assign 20 pieces to this stock. To this sales order okay 5161 this one we cannot use because this is only five quantities are available so this is no no uh, not suitable here so let's use 82 stock from this sales order and assign this stock to this one how to do this select both the lines okay then we will go to back orders okay so this screen will come up this is back order processing screen now here uh, all the sales orders for this material will show here okay so we will go to we have to select the sales order which we want to swipe the stock so we are we want to swipe stock from uh, 5151 5159 so i'll go to 5159 okay so this i can see here this is these two lines are for my 5159 sales order okay so first 100 quantity and then 82 pieces are confirmed so i will select this line go to change confirmation okay and i will reduce stock by 20 pieces so 20 pieces i will assign that to another order from 82 i have removed 20 pieces and i have made the quantity to 62 okay so now this stock is the sales order uh, is now stock confirmed the stock is 62. now i will go to another sales order where i want to assign this 20 pieces i'll go to my new order 6161 and here i can see confirmed quantity is zero so i will select this line change confirmation okay so 20 pieces are now available now those 20 pieces are free stock so here also you can see that 20 pieces are now uh, this is there so 20 pieces i will enter here and select here now, now my this 20 pieces are confirmed okay now let me save this and come back so here i can see you can see your stock from the first first sales order is reduced by 20 pieces so first step was to remove stock from your first sales order and uh, then 
to sales order which you want to assign second is there we have assigned the 20 pieces okay now when i go to this 6161 i can see in schedule line that 20 pieces are now confirmed earlier zero pieces were confirmed but through back order we have allocated a uh, stock of 20 pieces to this sales order now let me talk uh, where to assign this delivery priority that i mentioned earlier so if we go to customer master then in your sales area in your sales and distribution module we have this uh, delivery priority okay so this delivery priority will be uh, used uh, if we want to automate this process but manually from when any order to any order we can we can use this process okay so but if you want to segregate uh, like which is a high priority normal or low which kind of customer then we will use this field but manually we can do from any order to any order so this is one place uh, from the master data point of view then in configuration also we have to do some uh, settings so go to spro okay go to the sales and distribution module and go to basic functions then availability check and transfer of requirements we'll go to availability check go to your avail atp logic okay, this one we will select and then configure a scope of availability so first we uh, should know which availability check is assigned in in our material master okay so that we have to check in material master go to your material master this is the material master so i can see here 02 is used okay 02 availability check is used so we will go to 02 and 02 sales order a okay so this availability check setting is used 02 a and uh, this rlt should be checked okay if it is not checked then system will give a future date so for back order processing uh, this should should be switched on so rlt time should not be considered if this is not switched on then system will give a future date for uh, that in the schedule line so that should be ticked on so that is one setting and uh, bo related and second is we have to maintain the bo related uh, checking rule also here so for the same availability check we will maintain uh, back order processing checking rule as well so these two settings will be done here uh, for this back order processing okay rest all is same what we have seen in availability uh, check class and so that is the configuration and that is how we will run the uh, your back order processing now another topic